Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is a gorgeous sunny day outside, except that it's cold, but getting warmer, hopefully up to the 60s tomorrow, 70s the next day. I have spent all morning in my office. I had four calls, which I ended up having all of them, but not without problems. The join button on my Microsoft Teams meetings disappeared. So I had to very quickly cancel the meetings, recreate them before the dealers got on so that they had something to click onto, but more importantly, that I had something to click onto because I couldn't join my own damn meeting. I researched it on the internet. Apparently that is a glitch. It is something that happens. It hasn't happened to me before. Hope it doesn't happen again. So I ended up having to cancel the next two weeks worth of meetings and recreate them. So I just got done doing that. I had some leftover pizza for lunch. Now I need to get the hell out of this house before I go freaking crazy. So I'm gonna go do a run, check on my mail, go to three ships, and I don't know, maybe go to Target or something. Let's go. All right, so it's 41 degrees out and sunny. That's better than 20 something degrees and sunny. Not as good as 70 something degrees and sunny though, and we're getting there. I still haven't done anything with this setup as far as anchoring it down. And I know you're not gonna be surprised by this, but I may have to change it and change it in a way that basically I'd have to get rid of the ball head. I ordered an Anton Bauer extended battery kit, more or less, because of how awful the battery life is on, on this A7 IV shooting in 4K. By getting the Anton Bauer kit, yeah, I watched a number of videos on it last night. The guy was shooting 4K24, some 4K60, but 4K24, he was getting eight continuous hours of shooting with that Anton Bauer battery. I tried to order it a couple of months ago, and it was back ordered through June, at least, at B&H. Well, I did a search this weekend, and I found a place, which I thought was Trans Films. I think that's the thing that came up, but they're actually Transylvania Films. So when I got the uh, the email yesterday that it had shipped, I was like, Transylvania Films? Who the hell, what did I buy? And then I realized it was Trans Films. So I was waiting to see if I got that notification, and I did, and it said that it shipped. Now, it hasn't actually shipped. They created a label for it, so we'll see if I actually get it, but I'm hoping that that means I'll get it. Hopefully, I get it this week. I know it's coming from uh, California, Hollywood, actually, and I'm hoping that it does get here before I go to Chicago next week, because it would be really nice to have that, that extended battery while I'm there filming all the crap that I'm gonna film. The Anton Bauer battery that will act as a base also has quarter 20 holes up on the bottom or three eighths holes, whatever. It has holes on the bottom so that I can put another plate on it. Now the problem is, and this guy also mentioned that, is that if I use the Arca compatible plates, they're all really small and it causes the camera to tip. If I use one of the Manfrotto plates that I have several of and several bases that, that can slide into that, then it will allow the camera to sit normally and not tip over. So if I do that, that means that I can't really use this ball head. I mean, unless I convert it and stick another one of those Manfrotto things on here, which is gonna make it even higher, which is on top of already the amount of height that I gained from adding that Anton Bauer battery. So that means I'll have to get rid of the ball head and put a Manfrotto base down here so that I can slide the plate into that and lock it in place, which then again makes me lose the ability to spin and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have to try to find some kind of solution. So for now, without, I'm not going to dick around by adding all kinds of shit here, doing all that stuff, just to find out that I can't actually use it. I'm going to have to figure out, I got to wait until I get the gear because I can't visualize what it's going to be like until I actually have it here and I can physically see what's going on. But for now, I'm going to go in and check and see if I got any mail, hopefully good mail, meaning not bills. We'll see. Be right back.
something new, a little tidbit about me. It's not anything that I haven't said before, but you might be new. So I'm a disabled veteran. I have an angry spine. I'm always in pain. Most of the time I can deal with that. Sometimes I can't, and that's when you don't poke the angry monkey. Pretty much, I almost constantly have a headache. Head slash neck ache. Not always necessarily a back ache, although sometimes that happens too. This has been, oh geez, that happened at the very end of 1998, right before I got out of the military in February of 1999. So I'm a disabled vet and I have been dealing with this for over 20 years. When this first happened and ever since, I have been on a regular, overly indulgent regimen of stupid amounts of ibuprofen. I'd say that for the past 20 plus years, it's almost a rarity that a day goes by that I don't take ibuprofen. And now I realize that that's an issue. And I don't take a lot of ibuprofen in the grand scheme of things. I did when it first happened, because back then I had diver's candy, which was the 800 milligram tablets. And I was taking four of those at a time until the diving doctor found out and, and practically beat me to death because of the damage that I was doing to my stomach and liver probably. So I curbed that a tad. Now I have tried everything since then, from alcohol to pot, to CBD, to chiropractic, to exercise, to this, that, and the other thing. Okay, I've tried it all. Nothing is a permanent solution. Some things just take the edge off. And that's what the ibuprofen's for. It's to take the edge off. And sometimes it gets really bad. And you've seen me talk about that because I've been in a situation where it's been really bad while I'm filming and I I'm absolutely miserable. So I end up taking, like when it gets really bad, like when I say really bad, that's, that's where I wanna like grab a bat and start running around and hitting people with it. It's bad enough, so what I end up doing, what the only thing that ever really works is sugar and caffeine. So basically what I end up doing is taking at least three 200 milligram ibuprofens and I wash it down with a Coke. I mean, usually somewhere in there I might eat something. <laughs> uh, after I do that, after hopefully about an hour or so, it takes the edge off so that it's not so excruciating. So I don't do that all the time. I don't need to do that all the time, thank Zeus. But for the most part, I have gotten basically into the habit of taking ibuprofen every night before I go to bed. And I'll take anywhere from one to three 200 milligram pills every night before I go to bed. And I found that if I didn't take it, that I would end up with like a headache, sometimes bad enough that even in my dream, I have a headache. I wake up with a headache and then I got a headache all damn day, the next day and I'm miserable. So I was like, all right, screw it. I mean, my liver's probably already shot anyways. So I might as well just take the ibuprofen and at least get a half decent night's sleep. Okay, so I'm watching this video series where experts debunk all these health type myths. And I happened to watch one the other night on these two specialists, they basically headache specialists, headache migraine specialists. And they describe the difference between a migraine and a headache and the treatment for them both and so on and so forth. And then they got into the myths. So one of the things they discussed was ibuprofen. I mean, they said, no, there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with taking ibuprofen, you know, um, especially if it helps or, you know, at least takes the edge off. They did discuss overtaking it. They're like, yeah, I mean, you can take it, sure. And, you know, I'd say, you know, if you have to take it more than twice a week, you probably should go talk to your doctor and all that kind of stuff. And I, I was like laying in bed watch this. I literally burst out laughing. I'm surprised I didn't wake my wife up because I'm like two times a week, holy shit. You know, I'm probably taking more in a night than most people are taking like in two weeks. So I, I definitely know that I'm taking it excessively and that I shouldn't be. All right, all this, I'm just I'm, I'm precursoring what it is that I'm getting to. After I watched that video, I stopped. Stopped cold turkey because I'm a dumb monkey and I always do shit like that. It's everything or nothing. So I stopped taking it. It's been, I think the last time I took it maybe was Friday night, Saturday night, somewhere over the weekend. So it's only been a few days that I haven't taken it, but they've been 
relatively uncomfortable. Like right now, I have a headache, and and not my normal like uh you know I've always got pain. It's like I've got a fucking headache, and it's annoying, especially because I spent all morning sitting at my desk, and then having that problem, it 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 just amped up the stress. So I definitely like I, I want to take ibuprofen but I'm not going to because I'm trying to purge myself so I'm going to try to go all the way up through next week when I get back from Chicago without taking any and see if I can't like purge myself of, of the habit of taking it and one of the things that they discussed was the fact that if you take it all the time it's no different than any any other bad habit you're going to go through withdrawal and if you take it every day when you don't take it, you're actually probably going to end up with a headache because your body's used to having that there and now it doesn't have it and it wants it because it thinks it needs to be there. So I kind of don't like being dependent on anything, even though I've been dependent on it for 20 years. No more dependency, right? As, as much as I can. I mean, there are going to be times where I'm going to have to take something because I don't, I don't want to like freaking kill anybody. And I don't want to be a, like a gigantic douchebag either. And that's tend to what that tends to be what happens when I, I'm really bad. Hence the don't poke the angry monkey thing. So I'm not putting up with anybody's shit. I don't want to put up with it any time, but I definitely don't want to deal with it when I've got an excruciating spine ache. You hear it now. I am cold turkey off of ibuprofen, and I will stick with that until there comes a time. And I know there will come a time where I just I need to do something. I need to take something, and that's fine. The occasional like I can't take it, taking it, I don't think is bad. The I take it every day because I just take it every day is is bad. So not going to do that anymore. I'm going to drink lots of matchas, a lot of water and maybe get my ass off the couch or out of the chair in the office and freaking start working out on a regular basis. It's getting nicer out, so I'll start walking more. We got that going on for me. All right, enough about ibuprofen. That is all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.